Hey everybody, so I'm back and today we're going to take the George Cleverleys and we are going to compare them to a really cool pair of shoes that I've focused on on my channel before, the TLB Mallorca 121 Batista. Uh, so the TLB is on the Picasso last, so it's a little different, but it is your typical um, uh, brown Adelaide, Capto Adelaide, uh, with, uh, you know, nice heel caps. I've done a little bit of burnishing on the uh, on the polish so um, the different areas stand out a little bit more but as you can see um, they're very very close in color although this has a pebble grain to it so what I did was I included the red laces so that you can tell easily that that's the TLB. Um, cleverly is the uh, pebble grain. So uh, let's talk a little bit about the difference between the shoes. Um, you know if you looked at my other um, uh, videos where I did the shoe battle with the Cleverly against others. Um, I just, one of the distinguishing factors uh, is these, um, uh, the medallion on the, uh, on the toe cap. So uh, the Carmina had the medallion, but none of my others have the medallion um, where they have a toe cap. So uh, that's a pretty big distinguishing factor. You can also see that the, um, the toe cap on the TLB is quite a bit longer. Uh, so that uh, elongates the foot a little bit and has a little bit of a difference. Now, if you have a very, very high in your foot, you can actually um, wrinkle the cap um, um, if, if that uh, is a problem. So um, that obviously um, some people like the shorter toe cap just for that reason alone. Um, as we look at the uh, other pieces of the shoe, um, you know, what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about the, the last or the shape of the shoe. Um, from a design perspective. Um, we're going to talk about the stitch density on the cap on the top of the welt. Um, and then we're also going to talk about the sole. Right? So try to keep it pretty simple. Um, that's what we're going to, uh, to keep our focus on. So now if you, um, uh, the other ones, what we looked at the other day was that we had three stitches um, on the uh, per centimeter on the sole. Um, and that is actually uh, roughly the same. But if you see, and the challenge with the, both of these shoes is that the stitches are very deep in there, but you can see the stitch density right here. Here. And You can see it in there as well. Now, what's really nice about the TLB is that they do a much nicer job on the fudging all the way around the shoe. Um, the, uh, um, they don't have any fudging on the, uh, on the Cleverly. So that, that's, that's a pretty big difference. Um, so now let's, let's talk about design um, and let's talk about those lasts, right? So the last is the shape of the shoe. And um, you know, if you get into custom shoes, um, I was looking at a pair of St. Crispins and I was offered five different lasts that you could have in that, in that particular shoe. Um, and that can be, you could have an almond, you can have a chisel, uh, you can have um, a hard chisel or a square chisel. Um, there's all kinds of different, soft square is another one that, that, that is popular among different brands. So um, this is what I would consider to be a soft chisel. Um, it's not very narrow at the, at the top, and this is not very straight. Um, it has this beautiful uh, ramp down here in the toe, um, and it has these beautiful, what I call um, the rising on the sides, on, on, on both here and there. And I love the way that that looks. So it, it has a very sharp look to it, and I feel like it gives you, uh, especially with this rise here, um, it really gives you a, a very elegant, sophisticated look to, to the shoe as a whole. Uh, that's especially important with hole cuts, but in Adelaide's, I see that happening more and more. And I really find that it uh, changes the appeal of the shoe. So now the other piece of the last is, um, you know, the heel and, and the waist. Um, the waists on these are, um, are extraordinary. And, um, TLB Artista, they just do a great job with a very, very narrow waist. You've got a really nice beveled waist on these as well. You, in fact, you can see the bevel. Um, and this is something that I can feel when I wear them. I feel like they're giving me additional arch support. 
So, and that, that feels really good. Uh, you also look at the heels and this has a tapered heel, meaning that it's wider here than it is down here. Um, and it's also tapered in toward the waist a little bit as well. So now if we go and we look at the last here, okay, this has the same rises. It has much of a less pronounced um, rise here, um, but it's also a little bit straighter down at the bottom. So what do I mean by that? Let's compare side by side, all right? So you can see this is just a little bit more squared off, but you can see that the rising on the sides is just as sharp, but a little narrower on, on the Cleverly. So now Cleverly is known for its chisel blast and, and it really does this well. I mean, I would say this is the standard by which all others are judged. And um, I, I find that this is just a very, very good example of, of what the design should be and, and how it should look. Now, they also have these beautiful two rows of nails in the sole, uh, which I think is a, a classic and, and great thing. Um, you know, they don't do that at TLB because a lot of people probably get toe plates put on their TLBs. I don't. Um, and you can see that uh, my wear is more down here and less up there. I do have some wear up there, so I do have to be careful, uh, but it's definitely something that I need to monitor. Now, um, when we look at the waist, okay, uh, the waist on both of them are both very narrow. This has more of what I would consider to be a fiddle back, and maybe that's just because of the way it's painted, but I like the look better here. I don't want to get too hung up because of the painting though, because you could just simply paint this one the same way. You just take it to a cobbler and they could do that. Now you look at this, um, the, the, the heel is a little bit more tapered than it is on, on, the, on the TLB. And it's also tapered this way, just like the TLB. So now from a pure construction quality standpoint, this has a full seam in the back. Now that means that they didn't have to be as precise when they were cutting the leather in order to join it in the back where TLB uh, actually has it so that there is a very small seam just right down here. And that is a, a fundamental difference and something that I think uh, changes the, the, the look of the shoe considerably. And I would say that, uh, um, you know, as I compare my higher end shoes, uh, th there is a clear winner in that area, which I'll get to in a different shoe battle. Uh, but for now, as we look at the two shoes, very, very good classic designs. Um, so let's talk about where we're going to see the biggest difference. If you look at pure value, okay, uh, 370 euros for the TLB. That's right, 370 euros. It's not a lot of money. It's about 400 bucks. Uh, it's really a great deal. Um, where this, you're looking, you know, 500 pounds, right? Um, or um, you can sometimes get them for as low as about um, uh, $500, I think is the lowest I've ever seen them for. So um, $550 actually. So um, that would be about 400, 440 pounds. So when you look at it comparatively, you're talking about $400. $550. Uh, that is a heavy price to pay for a painted sole. Now, this quality sole, I believe that this is oak bark tanned and I believe that this is not. You can obviously upgrade any Artista um, to a JR sole. Um, that's easily done as part of the um, uh, MTO program. Uh, that costs 25 euros extra, but you do have to pay the extra 30% for the shoe. So now you're talking 520, um, $550. Um, for a JR sole. Uh, you still don't get the nail work, you still don't get the painting and the fiddle back, uh, but you do get the upgraded sole. So something to consider there. Uh, from a lining perspective, um, they're both very, very good. I would say that the TLB is somewhat softer, um, but uh, you know they're not uh, well broken in yet, so I don't know how that's gonna last over time. Uh, so just something to uh, keep in mind there. So this is uh, Wisconsin Shoe Guy. Thank you so much for watching. Um, from a price to value perspective, the TLB is going to be the clear winner. Um, I still like the sharpness of this toe better. So overall, I'm going to say I still like this just to scotch more. But uh, they're both very, very good shoes and great compliments in the collection, even though they're very similar colors. 
Um, the fact that this has the pebble grain on it really provides enough differentiation that I think that it's worth having both in the collection. So thank you so much. Appreciate you watching. Bye now.